Welcome to episode 40 of A Week in the Life of a UK Student Reseller. This week is looking rather dry, but hopefully there'll be some restocks and maybe we can do some looping in store. So definitely stay tuned to see how we get on this episode. Right folks, just got a bunch of packages in the mail today, so I thought I'd go through them now with you and give you some thoughts on them. First one from ASOS Dunk today. Sadly, only the one this time, but nevertheless, I'll take it. It was manual as well, so that's always cool. Um, it should be the RGA Pigs in a four and a half. Okay, box is fine. Yep, in a four and a half. Four. I swear it's a four and a half, but okay. Let me check. Apparently it's a four, but okay, we'll take it nevertheless. Um, yeah, four. A four, nevertheless. Managed to pick one of these up, which I'm pretty pleased about. Uh, they have seen an increase since uh, we first got them in hand a month or um, a month or so ago. They're going for around 150 to 180, depending on if it's a bigger size or a smaller size. Um, uh, my average buy-in was retail, so that's good for me. But average buy-in for people was like 115, 120, so you're already in profit. But I expect this to go to 200 by um, sp spring summer. So keep holding your pairs if you've got them in. Next ones are from Nike, so let's go through them. First one up is a Jordan One. Golf. It comes with the Jordan 1 golf card. Haven't seen that before. That's cool. Nevertheless, let's have a look. So here is the Jordan 1 low golf. Okay, so uh, this one is um, doesn't have the spikes in it. Um, it's just more of a traction sole. So, oh, surprisingly, the leather is quite nice on the toe box. But it's got that icy sole and then white mid sole grey colour blocking it, you got this two-tone grey, so it's kind of like the Georgetown grey and then it's more of a darker grey and you've um, got grey laces and then it's Jumpman Golf on the tongue. Um, pick this one up off a Nike restock, um, so they restocked them randomly at a random time and we managed to pick up two pairs, there should be another one in here. This one's a ten and a half. So as you can see, the sole's got that grip. So I think you could probably just wear this out to be honest. Um, but yeah, golf shoe nevertheless. I think it will do well for spring summer. Not sure about holding it or not yet, but currently reselling around 230 to 200 depending on size. Next one is the same again, but this one in a nine and a half. Here it is, another pair. Very nice. So pretty happy about those. They just restart randomly, early hours of the morning, and I'm always up at that time, so I managed to pick the pairs up. And then we finally got this one. Comes in a larger box, but nonetheless. Don't know why they shipped in that box. Okay, and then this one is just a Jordan 1 um, Armour Navy in a 9.5 UK, so also a restock pickup. They restocked um, early hours of the morning again, and these prices have been going up on men's and GS. I think GS, you're looking at 150 plus every size. Men's are similar, so I thought I might as well pick it up but you've already seen these on the channel before. The men's pair do look a bit nicer in the colorway, but nevertheless, that's all the pickups we got in today. Stay tuned for some more updates. Right folks, just one package in the mail today, so let's go through it now quickly. This one in a size 10 and a half UK, US 11 and a half. Uh, this one is going for a bit more bread, so around 181, 70 um, in the bigger sizes. Again, you've seen it on the channel before, but pick this on, pick this up off a later um, raffle entry. Shout out to Flair Raffles for this one. Another hit off them, just constant success with these. But yeah, I'm quick, gonna quick look at this one now because as I said in previous video, I don't think this will rise for a long time, so I'm just gonna sell it now instead of waiting 10 to 12 months, 12 months to 24 months to it to increase. But yeah, that's the pickup we got in today. Stay tuned 
for some more updates. Right folks, just got the one package in the mail today, so let's go through it now. So, it is a pair of Jordan 1 Lows, uh, mid, sorry. It is the uh, Blue Racers in a three and a half. Picked these up off Facebook Marketplace. Um, some guy was selling them really cheaply, only £100. Um, and, I, and I think I can make a decent money on them. But... Um, he said he got them from StockX. I'll have to authenticate them and all that jazz uh, just to make sure they're good. But they smell okay. But yeah, here's what they look like in hand. You've got this kind of pattern leather with a blue tick and then white leather. Um, I can sell them around 200, I'm thinking, so a nice 80 pound profit nevertheless but yeah this is what we got in today stay tuned for some more updates right folks so all the new balance packages have just come in from that new balance 550 restock um so i'll unbox them now and go through them on the channel with you and a quick review on the colorways and which is my favorite and what market is like and hold and sell prediction so let's get into it Right folks, so that is all the packages unboxed in. We did get all 13 packages, no cancellations at all, which is great. Um, let's go through the colours now. So, as you saw from the live cut, we got the green, navy, UNC and orange. So let's take a look. So, so right off the bat, here is the green. Lovely, like, bottle green um, against this um, cream... Cream midsole and then green outsole. You've got your suede on the toe box with the hits of leather as well, which is nice. Um, and then you've got a green insole as well. Um, and then you've got these two, you've got the space here and then you've got the heel um, cushioning and front cushioning. Really nice silhouette overall. I think New Balance did a great job with this shoe in general, just like pushing this shoe, um, something different from Jordan's and dunks um, it's just something different and it still has gives you vintage vibes and kind of like an old school basketball kind of shoe but with like streetwear takes as well to make it a lifestyle shoe uh, nevertheless this one um, the green I think it's going for about 150 to 180 uh, and then smaller sizes are going for around 300 because they are um, a lot more in demand because a lot of women like them we did manage to pick up the size 4 this is tiny size, but yeah, a size four in the green, which is great. And um, that one is um, makes the most money. I think it's going for around 300, 350. So definitely good profit on that. But that's the green colorway. Uh, let's move on to the uh, blue colorway. So the UNT colorway. This one's a size nine and a half. Really uh, beautiful blue again. It's kind of like a baby blue. Uh, you've got that hit New Balance on the back, and then it's got a what a uh, blue blue trim throughout, and then blue liner, and then blue the heel. This one's really nice as well. Um, the leather's a bit stiffer on all the pairs um, that I've noticed so far. So nothing crazy on the leather, but it is a general release shoe, so you're um, gonna expect that. But the blue is really nice. Really, uh, just an all white shoe with hits of little blue. This one's going for around 200, I think. Um, and then obviously, bigger sizes significantly more. Next one is the navy. So, this is similar again to the green shoe, but you've just got that navy. Um, again, moving for 130, 150, that sort of price range. But yeah, it's very in demand this shoe at the moment, as I said, because people want something not 
Jordan or Nike, so it's giving people a different avenue to venture into, but still been going out of stock really fast. Uh, and then this is the orange, really bright and vibrant, this one, um, giving me shattered backboard vibes, of course, but it's just the sim similar to the UNC, but this one you got the uh, orange trimming, of course. Uh, this one's going for around 150, I think. But yeah, I think I can move these locally a lot higher to private clients and that sort of thing. So that's pretty good. But those are the four colorways. Um, in terms of resale, I've discussed that, but in terms of holding or selling, I think the blue ones and maybe the orange ones are a good hold because they've only just released and it's the start of the year. So by spring, summer, um, I think they'll increase in value. In terms of the green and navy, they've already been out for a while and they've already started to see an increase so I'm just going to see what prices are like today and then either quick sell them all or just hold on to a few pairs nevertheless but yeah um, that's all we got in today really ha happy with the result shout out to Flair for this cookout but that's all we got in today stay tuned for some more updates right folks so we've just got two packages in from Nike today so we'll go through them quickly now so um, we've got in two more cool greys, um, both really small men's sizes, so we've got a three and a four. They've been restocking on Nike recently, so I thought I'd just pick up some smaller sizes, just see if I can move them. I think they're only going for around 200, but um, I think I can move them um, around 200, 220 um, to female clients. So you should be able to make a nice bit of lunch money. Um, again, shout out to Flex Workshop for the ping on these in their uh, Nike monitor. But yeah, cool grey 11s, you've seen these enough on the channel. Hot cakes. But yeah, those are the two pickups we got on today. Stay tuned for some more updates. Thank you folks so much for watching this week's episodes. As you can see, pretty successful on New Balance. Again, once again, shout out to Flair for the cook on those. I was running um, Ignify proxies as well, so shout out to them as well. Really good proxies, relatively good speed for resi, so pretty good all round. Um, apart from that, we did hit some restocks, and then what you didn't see is we hit two more cool grades off Offspring, which should be coming in next episode, so stay tuned for that. Uh, nevertheless, next week we should have the Bubblegum Jordan 1s releasing and the Marina Blue. Don't think I'm going to go for the Marina Blue, just because it's looking bricky in all sizes and black and blue colourways never seem to do well first. It's always a longer hold. They're definitely a hold shoe for sure. I think six months to a year, it'll be like a 220, 250-pound shoe. Nevertheless, we also have some Jordan 1s uh, mid greys releasing next week. They're grey with a black tick. Very nice colour blocking, similar to the smoke grey mid. Going to do very well. Going to try and buy up a load of pairs of those because they're going to be a great hold for summer. But yeah, those are the releases for next week's episode. Stay tuned to see how we get on.